elimination diets or food sensitivity testing. Which one should you do to find out what foods may be triggering your eczema or psoriasis? Keep watching to learn more. I help people struggling with eczema or psoriasis to get the clear skin and confidence they dream of without using steroid creams, pills, or biologics. And if you want the four habits that I used on my journey to get clear skin, just go to www.kristaharkis.com forward slash clear skin. An elimination diet is a two-step process. First, you eliminate the foods that could be causing inflammation in your body. This list of foods is going to vary depending on who is presenting it and what health problem they're trying to solve. The length of time will also vary. For the most part, the short two week elimination diets won't be enough time to reduce the inflammation in your body and allow your gut to heal before adding in the foods one by one again. I often work with people and recommend a 30 day elimination period, but I have seen 60 days or even longer. Second is the reintroduction phase. This is where each food group is reintroduced in a specific order, starting with the least likely to cause inflammation. If you do happen to come across an elimination diet that tells you to reintroduce high inflammation foods first, such as gluten or dairy, run away because that's going to cause lots of problems. As you reintroduce each food group, you will keep a journal to track any and all symptoms that pop up as they all matter. The reintroduction phase also varies. Some say to do each food group over three days, and some say to do each food group over seven days. Kind of varies, and I usually stick with the middle and say five days. An elimination diet is not just cutting out one food at a time to see if that is an issue, like just cutting out gluten. Because if you're doing this, you are still eating all the foods that are causing inflammation in your body. Let me know in the comments below if you have taken a food sensitivity test that says you're allergic to all the foods. Have you ever done a food sensitivity test that comes back saying you are allergic to pretty much all the foods that you are eating? Well, there's a reason for that. When you have leaky gut, undigested food particles end up leaking into your bloodstream. Your body then launches an immune system attack because these foreign particles should not be in your bloodstream. That immune system attack causes inflammation and a reactivity is set for that food. This often causes the false positives on the food sensitivity testing. But when you heal your gut and retake the test six months or so later, now you're only sensitive to one or two food items because foreign food particles aren't getting through from leaky gut anymore and triggering your immune system. There is a reason that the elimination diet is the gold standard to determining food sensitivities and intolerances because your body's reaction to the food that you are eating doesn't lie. As much as some people, especially doctors, may say that food has nothing to do with your skin condition, they are wrong. Food definitely contributes to eczema and psoriasis. Eat the wrong foods for your body and it can cause flares and discomfort. Eat the right foods for your body and you can get rid of those flares and discomfort. It is simple, but it's not always an easy process. That's why I help people through it. Be sure to watch my next video on the importance of food. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you in the next video.